If you have been looking for a very easy to use and very cool online video editing tool, this is the right video. Hello everybody, I'm Gaviman here with another Canva Pro video and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the online Canva video editor. It's completely free and it helps you edit uh, HD videos 1920 by 1080 pixels. So without wasting any time, let's jump right in. But before you get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that. And also, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. Let's jump right in. All right, let's look at video editing in Canva. Super cool, super easy to, to use for video editing online. So I have two videos here I shot on my uh, Pixel, my Google Pixel. And if you can see, uh, most of the parts are not clear enough. For example, this part is not showing anything. And then the next part here, I rotated the camera. I don't even know why. The next part, I rotated the camera again right here. So I want to cut out those parts that are not stable using the Canva online video editor. It's actually free. Free of charge, you can edit Super HD uh, HD videos 1920 by 1080 pixels. So this is the part I'm more, more interested in right here. This part for the art right look at this that nice stuff Kampala Kampala has some super cool artists check out that so these are the parts I'm more interested in so I want to cut out the rest of this part and then if we go to the next video let's play now this one is a vertical video that means I will have to rotate it in order to fit this 1920 by 1080 display screen resolution whatever you can call it so this video is uh, i think this video has some issues too but let's jump into canva and see how to edit this stuff so i'm just going to go to canva.com if you want you can use the link in the video description below sign up for canva pro free for 30 days and then you can use some cool stuff like the brand kit like the content planner and some other cool templates for Canva Pro members. Anyway, so to create a video, just come to create a design right here and go to video right there. If it's not there, you just search for video and you'll get that. And the rest like the LinkedIn video ad, like the Facebook video, like a video collage, whatever you want to create. So you can just go to video click on that and the canva online video editor will load up all right cool excellent now it's time to bring in our videos so i'll go back to i'll go back to the folder and drag and drop simple as that the two videos can select one hold down control select the next i can use and mark your selection just like that i click once drag and drop into canva just like that all right so right there it's uploading <laughs> a, a gg a gg logo came up <laughs> i clicked on the gg logo accidentally gg lo gg logo by the way if you want to learn more about how to sell on gg gg is uh, uh, an online marketplace very big in africa i think it's next to jumia so GG is a free online marketplace. You can just post your shows, clothes, or your art and sell it. Even services. You can post your portfolio and look for jobs. I used to get some website customers on GG. You can check out the video uh, on this channel to learn more about GG. And also on the website mugabimran.com and check out that blog post about how to buy and sell on GG. Step by step, everything is there that you need to, to do. All right, we are back. The video has finished uploading, so let's just drag and drop the video right there. You scale it using these controls to make sure it fits the whole, the whole resolution, the whole screen. Now, I don't know who was, I don't know who was pressed on play. But this video is playing. Let me use the space bar to pause it. Okay. And make sure I cover this white by selecting and 
just click and move it good thing with canva is you see these guides so for example this purple line the horizontal and the vertical line where they cross it shows us that that's the center of the screen which is great so we have our one video but we need to cut it to the part of the art right the part of the art <laughs> yeah this part where the art is is not this part i think it's the last part so we have a small screen to work with here so i'm going to first close this one by clicking on that and then you can use this button right here click and drag okay or you can use control and minus to zoom in or out of the video same with this button right here to zoom in and out of the video all right so we want the last part so i'm going to move the last part where we see our art i'm going to click to look for i'm going to click through up here can you click and drag this marker to play through the video so we want to cut from i i think right here the camera is beginning to settle so to cut the video you simply use letter s for split okay so we don't need the rest of this part so you just click it once to select it and use backspace or you can go back and use this button delete so you don't have that now these ones are called pages by the way simple page each page is like a frame of the video so when yeah when i split this video i have uh, this i have other pages this one is one page this is the second page now so i'm going to undo that split by using ctrl z now i'm going to scroll through the video or drag through the video and see which other part we need to cut out right so this is nice but this is good all right right here we need to cut out this part i think right here is where we need to cut yeah this is where our art ends yeah let's end it right here so i'm going to going to select this and use letter s for split so we're going to delete this last part we don't need it so use backspace for delete so let's see how many seconds we have if you bring the mouse over right here you see you have 9.4 seconds that is the time of this video 9.4 seconds so let's see if we can cut out some other part okay might be loud if you if you want you can use right click and use split right here you can even add transitions between videos if you have more videos here maybe you can try let's try transition let's first play through this video I'm going to reduce the uh, the volume of my computer now for me i'm on the windows so i just use the function key and f6 but it depends on your keyboard and maybe the operating system that you are using okay let's play with this so i zoomed in so i think I'll, let's cut right here where i zoomed in it was like this and then right here i zoomed in So I'm going to use split right here. And then I'm going to right click. Select the first one, right click at the edge and click on add transition. Right, so let's look for a transition. Maybe dissolve, no. What about circle, circle wipe, line wipe. I think let's use line wipe like that. And then you can also use other functions like the direction of the wipe okay let's go with this one and then let's play through 
click away and play drag to the video yeah i think the i think you saw the transition is smooth it's fast uh, like that let's drag through slowly so you can see the effect it's right there Yeah, some nice art on the Kampala Street. I guess let's call this one Kampala Street. Let's go for a quick text to close this video. Because I've already showed you how to edit videos. The next thing you need to do is just practice until you can do it fast and faster. So let's call this one Kampala Street. Let's look for a cool text template. What about this one? This one is not fit for the art. What about this? This might work. Let's delete this. Uh, let's call this street street art. Yeah. Okay. So let's do something. Yeah. Let's create a quick intro. Maybe we can create a quick intro for five seconds can use a letter s for split right here so we have a quick intro for six seconds before we start this okay so i'm going to place our text on this first the intro page the first page so we go to this last page where the text where we added the text select the text and use Control x to cut go back to the first page by selecting it and uh, use ctrl v to paste great now the last thing is we're going to put we're going to add a quick outro so a quick outro for a few seconds like uh, maybe three seconds or more this uh, split right there just use letter s for split or right click and go to split so the outro is going to be kampala so i'm going to use the same by using ctrl v to paste the text that i already copied and then i'm going to i am going to double click or triple click select all the text and use kampala type in whatever you want this is the city from which i i recorded this video kampala city in uganda yeah let me reduce the size of this text okay but i can also use controls these ones to reduce the size of the text so i wish we had more time we could make this look a little bit more a little bit nicer but I think I think that's it. Let's play through and see. So. Okay. I don't know how that looks, but. Okay. Let's put. Uh, the producer <laughs> the producer's name should not miss from the movie so let me reduce the size of this text to create space for the producer's name which is going to be let's drag this template yeah so i'm going to zoom in using this button right here And create some space by closing this one and use scroll to go to this page or you can use the slider control on the right hand side here so let's say i'm going to change this text to gavi <laughs> i'm going to ungroup this text so i have one of these so I'm going to delete this, I'm going to ungroup, select this and ungroup, then click away and select this one and delete it. So you have only this. 
So let's okay. So this is super big, super big text. Let's first change the font to this one. Uh, actually, I'm going to type in. If you know the name of the font, you can just type it in right here and select it from the list. If it doesn't show up, you need to download it and install it via the brand kit, which is a Canva Pro feature. But no worries though, because you can try Canva Pro for like 30 days or more using the link in the video description below. So let's reduce, let's change the color of this text to white. And let's reduce the size to, let's check something from the list, maybe 21. That's too, too small. Let's make it 71. And uh, let's put. Oh, and by the way, you can also add some cool music right here before you render this stuff or before you download it. If you can download it as an MP4. So if, if there are pages that you don't want to include in the video, but you have included in the editing, you can just untick them from here. By the way, you can also download something like a GIF short clip with no sound. But for me, I'll go with the MP4. Okay, so next, I think that's it. There's nothing next. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video. Well, now you can edit uh, your promo videos, your marketing videos, short birthday clips, whatever you want. Super easy, super fast using this cool Canva online video editor. And it's also free. Thank you very much for joining me. And uh, if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button, share the video with your friends, and share the love. Online video editing is the future. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't and hit the bell notification button that way when I release a new video you will be notified. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Alright, I hope that was helpful in terms of helping you get started editing videos in Canva online and I also hope it helps you get started editing your Instagram reels, your TikTok videos, your YouTube intros and outros, whatever you be creating your social media content. And if you like the video, be sure to hit the like button, share the video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button. And I hope to see you in the next video.